Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can conditional format your rows in a table or a matrix based on multiple columns or multiple conditions. So let's get started with this tutorial. In the sample data set that I have over here, I have a column called as filed against which has the categories where the people have raised the request against. For example, I have access login, I have software and I have systems and all of these have certain SLAs. For example, the access and login category has an SLA of the same day which is need, which needs to be zero and the software category has the SLA of less than or equals to two days. Likewise, the systems has the SLA of less than or equals to three days. And now against this particular category over here, we need to check the number of days it is open and based on the SLA that we have over here, we need to flag the tickets that has crossed the SLA. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, let us first create a measure to identify the tickets that have crossed the SLA. I'm going to create a new measure. I'm going to call this as flag underscore SLA. I'm going to first define a couple of variables over here. I'm going to define a variable called as category is equals to I'm going to say selected value and filed again. This is my column name. I'm going to close the bracket here and then I'm going to define another variable over here and I'm going to call this as days open. Days open is equals to then I'm going to say selected value and then I'm going to type in days open. So I now have my variables defined within my measure and now I need to type in the return statement. My return statement here and now I'm going to be using the switch statement. The switch statement is more easier to handle when you have a lot of conditions that you want to deal with. I'm going to say true in the expression followed by a comma and on the next line I'm going to say category is equals to the access slash login access slash login and I need to check for another condition which is that it needs to be zero right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use double ampersand which is in Power BI it means that it is an and condition and I'm going to say days open so this is the variable that we've created here on top days open is greater than zero what needs to happen when the category is access login and then the days open is greater than zero. I need to return the value here as one. And then I'm going to enter a comma here. You see that it's now going to the next value two over here. And then now I'm going to say my category is equals to software. I'm going to close the quotes and my days open is greater than two days then this needs to return the value as one likewise i'm going to repeat this again here for the systems category systems and days open is greater than three days then return one right the switch condition also has the option where we can enter the else condition. So what in case if the conditions here do not match, what is the alternative result that you want to see in your measure? So in this case, I'm going to just say zero and close the bracket here and press enter. And now let me bring in this particular measure into our table and see what happens. Now you can see that the first row over here which has met the SLA because our access login is needs to be zero and the flag SLA is returning zero. In the second row over here the access and login has crossed the number of days which is it has not met the SLA and this is returning the value as one. Likewise for software you can see that if it is less than two the value here is returning zero when it is more than two the value here is returning one. Now what we need to do is we need to highlight the rows wherever the SLA is not met. So let us now apply the conditional formatting. I'm going to come over here to days open. I'm going to right click and say conditional formatting and choose background color. From the format style I'm going to come here and select rules and then this needs to be based on the flag SLA field and if the value is equals to one then I'm going to change this to number my background color here needs to be let's say 
slight reddish color um, i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna choose the light red color over here and then i'm gonna click on okay so now when i do that oops okay now when i do that and now you can see that i have highlighted all the rows here wherever the sla has not been met and you can see that the measure here is all of them as returning as one and all of these rows have been highlighted now unfortunately in power bi you cannot highlight the entire row so what you need to do is you need to repeat the same thing here for the other columns as well so just go to conditional formatting select background color from the format style select rules and then select the flag sla and then is equals to one and then choose the color that we just selected over here i don't know what the color we had selected so that i'm going to go back to days open here go to conditional formatting background color i'm going to come here select this i'm going to copy the hex code over here and then i'm going to close this go back to requester conditional formatting background color format style rules and then under this i'm going to select the flag sla is equals to one and change this to number and then i'm going to come here click on more colors i'm going to paste the hex value that we copied and now i'm going to click on ok you see that the requester is highlighted as well we can simply repeat the same process for the other two columns that we have as well and then i'm going to say flag sla is equals to one number For the sake of this tutorial, I quickly fast forwarded the video and now you can see that I have all of my rows highlighted wherever the SLA has not met for that particular category and the number of days that particular ticket is open. Now another thing that I wanted to quickly mention here is I'm going to quickly go back to the measure that I've created over here. I have added the another condition here using double ampersand and if you want to add more conditions let's say you want to add another condition over here you can simply come here and add ampersand twice again and just type in your measure and keep going on as many times as you want so that it can check those number of conditions and return the value so this is how you can create conditional formatting based on multiple columns and conditions. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.